Hello! Um, well, before we kind of get started with questing and leveling and whatnot, um, I wanted to do a follow-up on the, uh... I received some questions about what I do for Blue Line, um, or what I plan on doing at least for when the expansion comes, or when the raids and stuff come out. So I thought I'd do something a little bit more in-depth before we went right into the uh, questing and stuff. Um, so for the most part, you're getting almost everything in Blue Line. Uh, there's only a few things we're ignoring. Uh, we're going to be ignoring Evade, and we're going to be ignoring the um, Revive, because we, we just don't need it. Um, there's some things that we can uh, talk about in terms of options here. Um, oh, whoops. So, uh, the, the, the power where you, which you get with Prelude of Hope is really good. I like it, so I personally would put five points into it. But technically, you only... You can get away with the one. It's more of a choice thing. Um, and then we need a minimum of one point into truly epic. You only actually need the one point for the critical heals. Um, uh, and then all the other points just increase the splash heals that it needs. But you really only need the one point and you're not going to you're not going to be relying on the crit to AoE heal. There's there's just no real point in it and except maybe in PVP, but not really in in raid and a lot of people aren't going to be grouped up enough to get a whole lot of value out of it. But this is where you can kind of um make a choice on where you want to go, but this is what so something to keep in mind uh, oh, here. Get the tactical damage, that's fine, because we're going to try to get down here. Um, overwhelming conf confidence obviously gives you the self-heal. Um, or overflowing confidence. I think I said overwhelming. Overflowing confidence gives you the self-heal whenever you use self-motivate. However, as you put points into this, um, you're no longer gaining the power you're only going to be gaining the heal. So, and for example, on is it this one? Yes. So there's a legacy item, which uh, right here, self-motivation, cooldown, and power restore. If you have this, and put all your points into, into overflowing confidence, you actually don't gain any power uh, because of the power cost from overflowing. So you're only getting the heal. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you want the power, um, then don't put points into here and just go into uh, fiery, fi fiery ridicule damage. Uh, but for now, we're just, I'm, I just want to do mention that but i'll put the points in here and then um we want to get further down so we'll just it, these don't really matter as much so we'll just put a couple points in here and then now we have access to thick skinned and the self-motivation cooldown even uh further so we got the the mitts and the lower cooldown uh, we obviously want the crit defense. Uh, we want the tactical crit chance. So this is where, so th as we get to this point, this is where you can kind of mess around. Uh, maybe you want the fate, so you're going to take some points out of, um, the self-motivation cooldown. Maybe, maybe you don't need the mitts, so you still want the, the cooldown, but you don't need as many mitts. So then you, you know, you get some extra fate in if you um, or you don't need the mitts in general, so then you just, uh, put the rest in. Or you don't want either of these, and you just want the fate, and then you have kind of 
two floater points to put around. You can get both stones, uh, more damage on the st on your fire stone. You can go back and put put it in for more power, that kind of thing. But generally, what we're looking at is something similar to somewhat like this. Um, this will be my guess on what will kind of be best. Uh, but a lot of it will depend on mitts and stuff like that, on how easy it is to reach cap. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to do a more in-depth thing on what I plan on doing for when the instance content comes out. Um, I mean, for me personally, this is what I'd recommend. I'm testing out some stuff. Uh, I went further into yellow um, and gave myself from some fate just because I had floater or uh, some evade just because I had floater points around. Um, I want to see how easy it is to hit the mid cap for a rune keeper without putting this in. Um, and if it's good enough, if it's not, then obviously what I showed earlier with Putting points in here will be worth it, but I don't know. This was just something that I wanted to try out for myself. But yeah, so this is what I'd recommend. Um, you're getting everything important. Um, SA, Max Dot Out, Overtune of Hope, Bombastic Inspiration, really good spell. Uh, maxing out your Rune Stone because it's just really consistent healing. A um, little bit of tactical damage, extra stone, um, and then, you know, it's just some extra fate and defenses and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So with that out of the way, though, uh, let's continue. Um, uh, let's continue our Umbar expansion. Oh, actually, hold on. If and if there's if you want something similar for fire or lightning uh let me know i can do a quick little thing on that um and if you want some something on other classes let me know uh, i don't have anything else on cap yet but i sh i'll still have the the max trait it, is so fine it, won't day it, uh, it won't make it that but yeah so i hope you'll find that helpful if you have questions let me know